You know, it was good to be out in front of our, our fans, you know, for our guys, you know, practicing against each other every day for, you know, what, what turns out will be six weeks. It's only been two, two and a half weeks to this point. Uh, it becomes, for those guys, monotonous. For coaches, not. First chance for fans to see this year's version of the Cardinal basketball team in action. Team 108 as it's being built. First chance to see the new video boards at the Yum as well. They are quite massive. J.J. Trainer, the sophomore from Bardstown, one of several dunks. That off the bounce from Jalen Withers. Junior college All-American L. Ellis plays beat the shot clock with a long three. Chris Mack coaching one of the squads as players split up, played three 10-minute quarters. Miami transfer Matt Cross, known as a shooter, showing he can put it on the deck as well, driving and scoring with the reverse plus the contact. Jared West, another newcomer, the grad transfer from Marshall, stepping into a three off the transition. Withers will be playing more on the perimeter this year. He hit a couple of three balls, 12 points, 13 boards. Malik Williams in the open floor, takes it all the way in for the jam. Eight points and six rebounds for the captain. Another transfer, Noah Locke from Florida, will also contribute. Certainly a good experience for the new guys to get out in front of a crowd. It was really nice. It was much different, much different uh, than, you know, playing in the practice facility with no one around. But um, I'd say the biggest thing is just, like, we've had all, we had all, like, 15 guys out there, too. Uh, we haven't had that in a lot of our practices. You know, people in and out of practices with hurt um, injuries and people with past injuries like Malik and stuff like that. So it was good to get everyone out there in front of the fans, too. It was good to actually get back out here in front of, you know, the fans, the crowd, compared to last year during COVID, and there was less people in the building. The guys got tired, and uh, we don't really have the substitution ability that we would in games. But I thought our pace was pretty good. The first four or five minutes of the scrimmage, it wasn't very good. I don't know if it was the first time just being in front of fans. Uh, guys lost their oxygen uh, in the first two or three minutes. But I thought after that they settled in, and for the most part it was where we wanted to be.